deadly demonstration from Watford. After a tough start to last year's Tour de France for Jasper Philipsen. Jasper Philipsen celebrates, but surely he must have seen Watford up winning in the yellow jersey in front of him. The Belgian made amends on the final stage by storming to victory on the cobbles of Paris. And the try had to be Jasper Philipsen. Yeah, I think it's an exciting year that there are new uh, opportunities coming up, but the Tour de France will be uh, the highlight of the season, hopefully. We have a strong sprint sprint uh, squad in this team and think um, yeah you always have to push yourself to the highest limit possible to uh, be the number one sprinter that will be well known and I try uh, try to give everything I have and we'll see where it is but sure uh, every sprinter wants to go to uh, to the Tour de France. The Alpes in the Koenig rider will be looking to repeat his success on the Champs-Élysées this year but as the most coveted sprint in cycling it's no easy task. <laughs> yes, we're doing it, yes. Okay, well, let's see what's possible. It's a uh, yeah, really tough race to win. Just first, I have to be uh, at my best level and see uh, yeah, what would be possible. Jasper Philipsen on the right of the shot, up against the barriers. Has Philipsen done enough? Yes! With the departure of Tim Medlier, Jasper has become Alpecin's principal sprinter. So has he felt increased pressure to get results? I'm not going to take incredible risks for a fourth or fifth place as if it's uh, not about to win. I uh, stop pedaling and uh, yeah, just uh, look for the next opportunity to uh, win. I think winning is still the most important this, in this team and in, in cycling in general. It's, it's always nice to uh, win and that's where you put the hard work. I hate uh, losing and I love winning, so I, uh, I'm a bad loser. Jasper Philipsen opens his arms and says thank you very much.